All praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Makar Kodash. Double honors to the Apostles and the Elders of Great Millstone, and Shalawam to the elect to the nation of Israel. This is going to be a lesson going into how Yahweh has got certain men that he's going to speak through to confound this world and give a testimony against this world. All right, I'm going to just go into Luke, the 12, 20, 24th chapter, and read a few verses from that and prove that Yahweh is going to speak through certain men at a particular time that he's chose to rebuke this world and its evil doings, man, and show that this world is hypocritical and that although they're going to try and make these particular men look as though they're evil and they're wicked, in that time it's going to be made known that actually, no, it's you that is evil and wicked. It's actually you that's doing things in the world not according to what God says. This is Luke chapter 21 and verse 12. But before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to, to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. So certain men are going to be taken from where they are and they're going to be brought before the people that are ruling this society, man. Both in, in a lower positions and, and higher positions, they're going to be brought before these people and it's depending on whoever Yahweh decides that he's going to choose in that particular time. Yahweh's, Yahweh knows who they, those people are and who the men are. He's, he's chose particular men that he's going to do that through, right? And that's going to be a, a beautiful a beautiful thing for those men to get the honour to be able to do that, man. Although it's not going to be their words that are speaking in that time as I'm going to prove when I carry on reading the next couple of scriptures. Verse 13, Luke chapter 21 and verse 13. And it shall turn to you for a testimony. Settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what you shall answer because those men that are chosen ain't going to be able to say, well, when they get taken, okay, if they say this to me, I'm going to say that to them. And if they say that to me, I'm going to say this scripture. And if they say this scripture to me, then I'm going to say that scripture. If they say, why did I do this? I'm going to say that. It's, that's not how it's going to work. Verse 14 again. It's a lock here. <coughs> Luke chapter 21 and verse 14. Settle it therefore in your hearts not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries should not be able to gainsay nor resist. So in that time, those people are going to be confounded, man. Those people that tried to think that they could take God's men and mock them in front of the world, they're going to be the ones that are mocked, all right? They're going to be the ones that are going to be confounded and confused in that time. Because the way how this world looks at people and looks at men, right, is based on if the physical appearance matches what they think this society is supposed to be about, then they'll listen, right? But if it does not match, then they're not ever going to hear what that person has to say. And I'm just going to... I'm just going to get one scripture on that quickly because this, this world is very hypocritical, man. All right. And all the Hebrew Israelites have once upon a time have thought, have thought that this world, yeah, we'll try it. We'll try out this world and see what this world is about. And every single one of them would have found out that there's hypocrites in this world, man. Especially those men of the elect of the nation of Israel would have found that there's hypocrites in this world and that they claim and try and make out like everything's fair and everything's equal. But really, secretly and openly, it's all deception and it's all evil and wicked. Let me see if I can find. Here we go. This is Sirach chapter 13 and verse 23. When a rich man speaketh, every man hold hold of his tongue and look what he saith. They ex extol it to the clouds. But if the, but if the poor man speak, they say, what fellow is this? And if he stumble, they will help to overthrow him. So if they see a poor man, is in a is in a bad position and not only are they gonna are they gonna mock that guy right they're also gonna help to make his situation even worse that's how this world is that's how this world is man let me read it again so what chapter 13 and verse 23 when a rich man speaketh every man hold his tongue so when a rich man starts talking everyone shuts down everyone stops saying whatever they're saying right and they start listening and that's why Esau is going to get confounded in that time because he's going to think, well, these men look at them. They're not much. They don't have the best clothes. Their clothes look cheap. Their clothes look so-called bummy, right? They're not rich. So when I bring them in front of the world, I'm going to be able to easily confound them because Esau is proud, man. 
He thinks that he's just so smart. He thinks he's going to be able to sway the opinions and make things go his way. But ultimately, all he's going to do is further seal members of members of the elect, man. That's all he's going to do is further seal the elect. Further make people see that the world that they believe in is not the right world, is not the right place, man. And let me just get that scripture again. The last um, Luke chapter 21 and 15. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. So there's come there's coming a time in this earth where people are going to try and confound God's men, but ultimately they're going to be confounded. Shalom to the elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.